Here we go. Catchweight competition here at 120 pounds. Sofia Hardouche fighting out of Coach Sorrel Marseille in the red corner. Again, she got the memo. She's wearing the red Reebok top as she takes on Cage Warriors Academy Southeast. Iva Hoff. The Hoff is back in the cage fighting at this catchweight. And straight away, Hoff changes levels and is sitting comfortably in the half guard I right mean, in the middle of the cage. It was smart. Sophia came out with a traditional Muay Thai stance, hands held high. As soon as she was close enough for the Hoff to change levels and shoot in, she did. Hoff now looking to just shore the position up. Maybe looking to try and trap that arm. No, it looks like she's trying to get to side control. Now, Sophia's legs are really long, so she might be thinking, okay, I don't want to play this guard game with her, especially if Sophia's got a high guard. You know, you're looking at easily throwing up arm bars or... I think I just saw a knee to the body there, so I didn't mean to interrupt you. I got really excited. This is why I love the Hoff. I, she's setting up, if she puts her head to the mat, she, looks like she's setting up that arm, arm triangle. triangle. Again with the knee to the body. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's lovely. And then, is it a case she uses the knees to the body, waits for Sophia to try and change and then change position into the... I triangle. truly believe you can finish that arm triangle from almost any position except for crossbody. Yeah. You can finish it from mount and you can finish it from the side. And she's locked in right. I mean... She's got it deep. She's going to the bicep. Everything she's supposed to do, but she needs to be able to Step slide over. over. now. And the thing is, with Sophia's long legs and long oh, arms, she's not you. able to do it. Thank you, God. That's all I have to say. All right, I'm done fanboying out now. I, I assumed that the, the second that oh. first knee went, you'd start marking out. I, I tell you, I, I, I might go and get an autograph after this one. Again, I... Uh, not not rushing no not not wasting position but staying active enough that there, there can't be a stand up here at the moment can there no and she's smart with her head position because if you notice Sophia keeps trying to throw her legs up to catch her maybe bring her back in but she's keeping her head down nice and low she's that was now nice. she starts to throw a few punches from top before that it was just the knees to the body and again here she's Ooh, a nice posture up I love the fact that she's not rushing. I love the fact that she's trying to really consolidate that position. But those long limbs yeah, coming I mean, in handy. And she was able to skirt to be able to get enough room. Now is Hoff going to have to let her up or is she going to throw some kicks into those legs? Well, I mean, Hoff has about six seconds and I think it's going to be just this dance. You know... I, I hate to ask the question because it's the first one we might have seen, but 10 8? Yeah, easily. So I'd look for her to probably look to close the distance again and take that shot. Yeah, as soon as she got the opportunity to wrap those arms around the, the body, she's trying to get under the hips. And Sophia. Knew that she was going down, so she kind of jumped guard. Now those long limbs, we didn't have, we didn't, oh. Stacking her. Nice, I was going to say with those long limbs, we, we didn't, oh, crucifix. crucifix. Beautiful. You know, she, she's going to have some submissions off her back for sure. The one thing that I think that the Huff needed to worry about prior to that, and she was smart about it, she dropped her hips, was that up kick. Because it was there, she needed to clear the leg, which she was able to do, and then she just slid right over it. Now sitting in a fairly open half guard. But she's sitting on the leg, so she's controlling Sophia, so she's not going to be able to, like, turn. This and then the Hoff is smart because she actually turned her towards the cage now. And just like we saw with O'Callaghan, uh, yep. she's now going to be able to use that cage as kind of her partner in there and not be able to uh, allow Sophia to move around the cage or throw up any submissions because she's going to be trapped in between it. Stand-ups have been... Oh, another knee to the body. The stand-ups have been coming fairly quickly this evening. Is, is, is she running the risk now of not being... Yeah, straight away. Referee's tapping out, but this is a dominant position. I've never understood a stand-up from half guard, side control. I've seen it from mount, which I've never understood. 
Yes, I've seen stand-ups from that. What is the guy just sitting there? Is he having a... Taking a break, having Do- a coffee? Doesn't matter. You can't stand somebody up from Mount. Unbelievable. Like, I, I, I saw it, and I remember just screaming at my television, how could you do that? Off looking to get a little bit of posture here. She's got the opportunity for good ground and pound. The thing behind it, though, is the length of Sophia's arms. She's able to really reach up and control the posture of Hoff. Crucifix that arm good and proper now, and she's finding... She's found her, found a home for those shots now. That left hand just hammering and nothing, nothing huge, but consistent and no getting up. And the half does it again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a real winner at the time of two minutes twenty-one of the second round by a TKO. Chuck and Judge is down.